Hey, Nar Williams here. Today, we're going to get a rare inside look into the nerdtastic brilliance that is motion control. Dude, how did you get all the way over there? Good question. I'm in the machine room at Sony Pictures Imageworks to meet Oscar winner John Dykstra. He is the man when it comes to visual effects and motion control technology. He's worked on all the big ones, guys. Batman, Spider-Man, Star Wars, Star Trek. John, such a pleasure to meet you. Dude, I don't believe it. I'm shaking hands with the guy who blew up the Death Star. Pleasure to meet you as well. So John, what is motion control? Motion control is in essence what it says. It's the ability to control motion on a repeatable basis. Visual effects is defined by two or more subjects photographed at separate times that are combined onto a single piece of film to appear as if they were photographed at one time. Motion control allows you to shoot multiple elements, two or more, with the same camera move, duplicate camera move, which means when you combine those elements together in the optical printer, they all look as though they were photographed at the same time. But how did they shoot the real life actors? and have them sync up perfectly with the CG elements. The answer lay in a mysterious character named Milo. The trick to making this effect work is that you have to shoot the subject, me, doing three different things, but the camera move has to be exactly the same every time. That way, when you combine or composite those shots together, the background, the speed of the camera move, everything but me matches perfectly. How can you get that level of precision? Easy. Hire Milo. And make sure Milo brings along Simon Wakely of Camera Control in Los Angeles. He's one of Milo's human overlords. I'm the real NAR, so no paying these guys, okay? Hey, I know where you live. And so do I. For this type of cloning shot, the timing between the actors and the Milo is critical. First, we figure out the shot and where all the NARs should be. First NAR comes out this door, mm -hmm. talking to camera, camera's moving with me, okay. okay? And then second NAR could just maybe appear. Yeah, you can widen out a little bit, pan over, and he can be off from the left side of frame. We use two camera control crew members, Jason and Tim, as stand-ins to help us choreograph the scenes. Just a little bit, 10% slower. Okay. Once we have the scene worked out, it's time to bring in the star. Okay, well, the first thing to do is to lay down the track. Mm -hmm. Then we have to get the Milo onto the track and get the camera set up. Do you want to help me out? Okay, yeah, totally. Step aside, Jason, I got <laughs> it. Actually, it's not too bad. We'll uh, get some blocks out and start leveling it. And just keep your eye on the bubble, right? Yep. I'll watch the bubble. Okay, good, let's get the next track. How much does this thing weigh? It's about 1,200 pounds. Oh, that's nothing. Hulk smash! The team uses lifting jacks to get Milo in place, then plug them in. Okay, I'm just gonna load up the control software. Whoa! There it goes. Every giant robot deserves a big red power button. Yep. <laughs> it's alive! Now what? What, do you know your lines? Uh... Now it was up to me to get the timing right. This meant shooting the passes of NAR1, NAR2, and NAR3. Nice threads. The Milo does its part exactly right every time. Unfortunately, I'm no Milo. Using, um, lots of... That's a cut. We'll do it again from the top. So after a bunch of screw-ups, we finally had three perfect takes. I think we nailed it. And after that, it's time for the computer to composite it into one final shot. Okay, just so there's no misunderstanding, I'm the real NAR, so no paying these guys, okay? Hey, I know where you live. And so do I. The circle is now complete. If there's one lesson we should take from our motion control adventure, it's this. One NAR is probably enough.